U.S. President Joe Biden called Russian leader Vladimir Putin this week in a bid to de-escalate tensions as troves of troops, tanks and weapons were seen heading to Ukraine's eastern border. It came after both the EU and UK pledged unwavering support for Ukraine's government amid concerns of a military invasion into Europe. But the Commission's president rejected an official invitation extended by Mr. Zelensky for the 30th anniversary of Ukrainian independence in August. He added, President von der Leyen has asked me to pass on her best wishes for a successful summit and her congratulations to you and the people of Ukraine on this important anniversary. Clearing the matter up, Commission spokesperson Eric Maymer admitted yesterday. Of course, the letter should have been naturally signed by her. But he confusingly insisted the reply did not arrive through the usual channels to Ukrainian officials before reiterating that Ms. von der Leyen would write a response herself. He said that the Commission's position is unlikely to change after being pressed over whether Ms. von der Leyen should be attending the ceremony to show support for Kiev at a time when European leaders have expressed worries about Russia. He added, I can assure you that the president, whether she is free to go to the event or not, will make sure that the commission will be represented during those events at the appropriate level. Mr. Zelensky invited Ms. von der Leyen for a commemoration of Ukraine's 1991 separation from the Soviet Union. The visit would have also coincided with the first ever Crimean Platform Summit, a gathering aimed at garnering international backing for Ukrainian sovereignty over the peninsula Russia invaded and annexed in 2014. Over the past few weeks, Moscow has been amassing troops and heavy weapons at the Ukrainian border, triggering alarm bells in Kiev and across the globe that history could repeat itself. Speaking in Brussels, Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmytro Kuliba said Russia was openly threatening Ukraine with war and destruction of our statehood. But unlike in 2014, he added, Russia won't be able to catch anyone by surprise anymore.